today in this session we will be discussing about the last section of water resources in geography that is rainwater harvesting its advantages disadvantages and the lesson will be completed so i do hope that this lesson of water resources will definitely help you to understand the very need of conserving water plus the sources of water available in india let's take a look at how the concepts has to be understood in a better way here we begin do rainwater harvesting is best technique this technique is not applied in the same manner in every state different states follow the different methods of rainwater harvesting take a look at the methods the different states use in india rainwater harvesting is an ancient tradition but according to the tradition there were different techniques and the people try to use by the means of the techniques evolved in that particular areas speaking about rajasthan here bc 4500 onwards people had developed the rainwater harvesting because it was thar desert but many other states in india still follows some of the traditional methods of rainwater harvesting and these methods are johars these are called as earthen dams some kunds this means they are covered underground tanks and mostly these methods are find out in rajasthan because rajasthan is a state where it is used as early as from the ancient time in gujarat it has tanks generally these tanks are underground then there are khadin and it is a long earthen embankment to store the runoff water in andhra pradesh the method is called as cheruwa and these are called as reservoirs in assam by the bodo tribes they use the method dongs these are called by the name ponds and in karnataka the rainwater harvesting technique is called by the name kere that means tanks some other states just like west bengal it is stored in ponds and these ponds in the local languages are called as pukur bil and khal and at the same time in jammu and kashmir the rain water is harvested and stored in jongs and in that areas the rain water harvesting managers are called as palar and this is officially recognized the caste in india that deserve to be honored because this caste they have learnt the technique of rainwater harvesting from their ancestors and still they are using the same method from generation to generations from today's point of view if you'll see the rainwater harvesting is practiced in most of the largest cities in india just like chennai bangalore delhi mumbai even in the most of the states also just like andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu assam and rajasthan and now the government had made some policies regarding the rainwater harvesting so at some extent government also helps the people to initiate in rainwater harvesting and the second method we have to take a look at that is recharge of ground water so this is the second method of rainwater harvesting in which we can recharge the ground water 
how it can be done we can try to understand with the help of diagram here so the diagram will definitely let you understand if you do not want to use the water we can recharge it the ground water and there are various methods are used like rainwater harvesting to recharge the ground water and here are few the striking images or the methods will help you to understand how people do recharge the ground waters or ground with the help of rainwater the first one in that it is called as pit recharge now pits are constructed to recharge the shallow aquifers not deepest one the extra water which will just run off can be easily stored into the shallow aquifers and can be used to enlarge the groundwater table plus we can use it during the scarcity of water second do they have trenches and these are constructed when the water is collected at a shallow depth due to the permeable soil not so much depth but at a particular level where the water is not percolate through the soil it remains at a particular level in the ground so it helps to increase the water table plus to use the water at scarcity time next we do have dug wells in this the water is carried with the help of drain pipes to filtration tank so from there it flows into the dug wells and this water is collected on the rooftop of buildings and also diverted to the dug wells this is somewhat like the modern rainwater methods and fourth one method we have that is hand pumps you might have seen hand pumps are locally and commonly available in most of the towns and the cities in india but here they use mostly the recharged ground water which may be at shallow and deep levels and stored in aquifers but if the recharge is not good one definitely the water availability is scarce so if you want to use the water during the dry seasons we need to recharge the ground water at some extent and if we follow these both methods in an convenient way definitely there won't be any scarcity of water for the domestic and industrial usages here you can see some of the images that how people apply the different methods to store the rainwater and that can be widely used for the household and industrial purposes so at some extent it is a hint and guideline for you that wherever there is a possibility we also can try to harvest the rainwater because the scarcity of rainwater is very great in the country like india so in order to provide the water for the coming and the future generation we need to adopt such type of method that's all for the lesson number 7 that is the water resources from the indian point of view hope you learned this topic in a detail and the great way and you have understood the concepts in a clear way that's all for this lesson thanks for watching see you soon with the next topic water resources in geography and i do hope that you really understood the concept because we had dedicated so many videos for this chapter any kind of doubts you can just comment it or ask directly by using the application of the school thanks a lot for watching see you soon with the next lesson and with some interesting ideas thank you very much